guys and welcome back to the Leeds United Football Manager Series Part 7 is it? I think it is. We've started today's episode off, if I go back to the schedule first, with a very disappointing run of form. If you haven't seen last episode, go watch it, because I'm going to tell you the results right now. We lost our first game to top of the league, Birmingham. Wes Harding scoring his first goal of the season. Ben White getting sent off, unlucky in that. That's probably took our title challenge away from us at the moment. It's in other people's hands. West Brom, we drew one apiece. Helder Costa got us out of trouble there. We didn't play well at all. And then in the final game, we got hammered. And I mean hammered by Burton Albion away in the FA Cup at the Pirelli Stadium. But Patrick Ranford got us a goal with the Alioski cross. And it was basically his only highlight of the game. Now I've started today's episode... On this day before the Sheffield Wednesday game that is our first one because the English 4th round cup is drawn today. The FA Cup automatic draw. I know we've still got to beat Burton to be in with whoever we're in but let's see who we can get. Arsenal. Crystal Palace. Burton or Leeds. Okay. So that in itself is an incentive to beat Burton. Crystal Palace awaits if we can beat League One Burton Albion at home. That'll be a test because if we want to go up to the Premier League, we're going to have to play against Premier League opposition. It'll be good to get them in the cup. Transfer offer here for Zach Dernley, a player I did not bring in, so he can go straight out on loan. Another loan offer here from Exeter for a 19-year-old striker. Good for them to go out and get some experience. And here's some news. Rafa Merjika, I think we signed him from, um, well, BL said before me, signed him from Barcelona, maybe Barcelona B, 21-year-old, uh, two and a half star, so he's good enough for the team, and he can grow, that's a good one. Also, we've got uh, Robbie Gotts, who is three star, team level, and he's a winger and a midfielder. We can play, look at that, he can play anywhere. Jeez, he's a good player to keep. And he's going to grow as well still. And then the most exciting one, Mateus Bogus, who has returned from Rotherham. I said uh, to Rotherham, you're not having him for another half a year. You're going to give him back. Uh, 18 years old, 2 million, 3 star. Do we even need to make any signings at all this transfer window? I mean, the young players we have at the club are amazing. I'm going to loan maybe some more out before the end of the uh, transfer window. But hopefully... I say that half-heartedly. We might be signing some more players, but yeah, the youth's doing very well at the moment. Okay, so here's the team for the game against Sheffield Wednesday. Kiko Kassir in there, Aileen, Struij, Cooper and Alioski as the back four. Forshaw sitting with Click and Phillips in front, the usual. Pablo Hernandez on the right, Costa on the left and Nketiah up top. But if you look over here, the squad is very, very full. We've got one lone player out who is uh, Ben White, but this probably means we have to offload some people. We've got these youngsters coming back, Tyler Roberts and Merkel. We've got plenty of strikers, but some even aren't scoring. And we just, we could do with sending a couple out on loan, looking at Alfie McClellan with the wanted list. But yeah, maybe some out on permanent to get some money in. But I think the priority at the moment may be a replacement for Pablo Hernandez because I've sent Harrison and Clark back from their loan spells. We've only got um, Stuart Dallas, who is wanted as well by West Brom. Yeah, a lot of stuff to do with the squad, but hopefully it doesn't affect our playing, uh, our performances on the playing field as we head into Sheffield Wednesday. Luke Halen in the middle to Adam Forshaw, Calvin Phillips. Gives it to Pablo Hernandez. This could be his farewell game. And Ketia through to Hernandez. Can he get a farewell goal? Nobody puts it across the box. And Helder Costa's hit it at the keeper. Good chance. Still in play. Back to Alioski. Can we get something else? We can't. Half time. And it's the story of our season. Having almost bloody double. But this time all of the shots in the game. And not beating his opponents. So I'm not going to go aggressive. It never works. So I'm going to say, if we continue to work hard, we'll win it. Uh, I'm disappointed with the defence, disappointed with the midfield, and I'm disappointed with the finishing. Hopefully, that motivates them to score. Pablo Hernandez is coming off here. He might have played his farewell game for Leeds. As Stuart Dallas comes on, can he get his chance 
at staying in the team as the first choice winger. Throw in for Aylin here to Helda Costa. Whips it in straight away. Dallas! That was his chance. That was his chance to get his place in the first team. Corner from Barry Bannon. Got to be able to clear this straight away. As he whips it in. Cooper does. Josh McEachran back out to Barry Bannon. Over the top, Adam Reach. Can you do something? Or can we get the ball off him? Please don't do anything. End the highlight there as we clear it. Josh Murphy. Out to Odubadjo. Gets Murphy to run round him and gives him it back. Gives Odubadjo it back. Forestieri. Where's the defence? Come on. Don't let him put it across the box. He's got straight past Cooper and he slotted it in. Fernando Forestieri, shocking defending from Cooper once again. Being so unreliable this season, the captain might even get the armband took off him if he carries on. And Forestieri just cuts in the middle of him and slots it past Kiko Casilla. And that looks like we're going to lose the game here at home to Wednesday. Shocking performance there. Shocking. Time it was disappointing. I'm just going to say I'm not happy. Nothing more. We might have actually dropped out of the playoffs with that. That was horrific. Jesus. I'm going to send assistance to that. I want to see the table competitions. We're still fourth, luckily. One point in the playoffs. These teams catching up. We were six points clear at one point. I'm sure we will, but every team's queuing up now. QPR have extended the lead from six. We played them in today's episode, so stay tuned. The, the, the middle, uh, the top three, anyway, are running away with it. Look at our form. Just look at our form in the league so far. Loss, draw, loss, draw, loss. We need to pick this up. Okay, so transfer bid here. 105 million for Lewis Co uh, Louis Coyle. I, thought I always thought it was Lewis. Uh, we're going to offer 500k back. The say now, what are they offered now? What's this? 105 um, no thanks ok guys so this is the team for the game against Burton in the FA Cup at home Meslier in net Aileen, Struich, Cooper and Berardi is back after passing a fitness test Forshaw, Click and Alfie McClamon in the centre and then a different uh, front three Stuart Dallas getting another chance on the wing uh, Merker has come in for his first Leeds game I think two and a half stars he can play inverted winger but not very well but the only reason he's playing there is because Bamford is getting another chance, as he did score against these last time. Hutchinson with a free kick to Nathan Broadhead. What can Nathan Broadhead do? He's put it wide of the post. Got lucky again. Half time, one highlight in that. Five shots towards, but I think there was a bit of an injury there. If I go to pitch, no, not pitch, tactics. Streech. I mean, it's the backup, and he's got injured himself. Do I give Noah Kenner a chance or do I put Alioski on? Hmm. I'm going to give Kenner a chance. He's unconvincing. I'm going to keep him on this side, but I'm going to give him a chance. Okay, after a half of nothing again, Merker's gone and got injured a little bit. So this is Alioski's time to go back out on the wing. Alien with a highlight at the very, very end of the game. Oh, total. Kicks it back up, or tool, or tootle. I don't know what it was. Sarkic has got it. Who scored against his first time? Messlier makes the save. Nothing much gone on in this game. I don't want to go to penalty again. I know what happened against Blackpool. This might be the chance Patrick Bamford's put through. And Patrick Bamford scores. He's an FA Cup merchant. We go to Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park in the FA Cup. Fourth round. Ball time, guys. We are going to Crystal Palace, Selhurst Park, the place where uh, my team Grimsby went in the FA Cup, I think it was last year, the year before. Good team to get, good to win, hopefully we get some money, there we go, 135k. What is our scouting budget? It is 1.4 million to spend, but we're over on the wage budget, so hey-ho. Loan offers for Shackleton here as well. Um... Swansea and West Brom. Where is Swansea in the league? Um, let's have a look. I'll just go to my table. It's easier. They are 13th, so they're above West Brom, and they're giving him an important player playing time. So, that's where he's going. 
he is off to Swansea on loan. Don't worry, I'm not selling his youth. He's off on loan till the end of the season. Millwall making a loan offer for Robbie Gotts. Where are Millwall? Let's have a look where they are. They're just above the relegation, so they're fighting for it. So hopefully they'll give him playing time. Uh, what is it? Important player. Robbie Gotts can go to Millwall till the end of the season. So here's the team for the game against QPR. Third place QPR. Cassia in net, Aileen, Stewart, Cooper and Berardi at left back. Forshaw, Click and Phillips in the midfield. Costa's now on the right wing. Alioski's on the left getting his chance. And Patrick Bamford's getting his chance for Enketia who hasn't scored in a while. Holder Costa with the ball in the middle. Puts it over the top to Alioski. What can Alioski do? Gives it to Forshaw. To Cooper. Struic. What's going to happen? Alioski intercepted by Jose Samuel. I can remember he scored against us. Bennett's down on the right hand side. He's passed his man Berardi and Casillas saves. Leistoner. Amos. Amos over the top to Jose Samuel. Can Casilla make the save? He can. Wells has got the rebound. And Yaki Wells has put it in the bottom corner. Jose Samuel down the right hand side. Casilla makes the save first. And Yaki Wells just slots it in. Elias Chair. Manning. Back to Chair. Pew. Over the top. Wells. And Yaki Wells is through again. He always scores against us. And it's a good save that from Casilla. Half time. We are 1 0 down. It's an even game. I mean. It says it's an even game, but we are getting hammered with the highlights. But uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to be aggressive for once. I haven't been aggressive for a while. Go get revenge. Passionate. A lot more to come. I'm going to start saying it now. I haven't said it in a while. Hopefully it can work. Lumley with a pass out from the back. To Barbe. Scowen. Let's put it out wide to Manning. Got to get across. Manning, good ball to Anyaki Wells. It's a brilliant ball and it is 2 0. Ryan Manning just cuts us open. And Anyaki Wells, who scored against us once, scored against us twice in this game. And we are behind. Phillips with a corner. We are just hanging into the playoffs at the moment. Alioski with the shot itself. Anyaki Wells, straight past his man. He's got the hat trick. Leistner to ball to Bennett Bennett over the top Amos doesn't get it but Inyaki Wells can oh I thought he made it for them Hegler Luke Amos out wide to Bennett Bennett can run he's put it in Inyaki Wells oh it's Elliot Bennett's goal but it's offside anyway Helder Costa gets it on the wing. It's a good ball. Can he do something with it? Back to Calvin Phillips. To Alioski. Alioski whips it in. Hernandez. And that is why I want you to go. Because you're ruining the club. You're bad on morale. You want to go anyway. Just get out. Okay, so after that absolute shit show against QPR, I decided not even to say anything at full time. I left the team talk. As you can see, I didn't do it. It's not because my camera ran out of charge. But as you can see here... Goal scored, we are the 19th highest. That would be where Preston are in the table. There's only five teams worse than us for scoring, and we are in seventh. We are outside of the playoffs. Goals conceded, we're fine. I thought it was the defence at all problem, with Struich and all that. We've conceded the least goals in the league. Got the highest attendance. But, yeah, we, we're doing okay in defence. We've got Ben White, of course, I forgot. It's the goal scorer we need. And Ketty has frozen up. Bamford hasn't done it this season. Looks like next episode, we've got Palace, we've got Millwall, and we've got a sign-in, who I think I've just about got. But you'll have to wait until the next episode. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe for this video. Hope you've enjoyed this series. Hope you keep enjoying it. Hope you're watching the iBar one as well. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.